This meeting is being recorded. Hello everyone, this is Sai Kiran along with our teammate, teammates Lalit Krishna and Mahinder. Uh, under the guidance of Ravin Kumar sir, uh, we, are here, we are here about uh, to uh, present our mini project which was titled as Diabetic Retinopathy Detection from eye fundus image with parameter tuning for convolutional neural networks. So what exactly our title says is diabetic retinopathy, it is a disease which caused by uh, rise in blood level, sugar level, blood sugar levels. So we are detecting these diseases by using some eye fundus image with some performing some parameter tuning uh, along with uh, some algorithm convolutional neural networks. So here, this is the introduction. Uh, basically, diabetic uh, retinopathy, also known as a diabetic eye disease, is a medical condition in which damage occurs to the retina due to metabolic disorders characterized by high blood level sugar. So, leakage and swelling of blood vessels of retina, sometimes abnormal blood vessels growth, and common symptoms include blood, blurred vision, and spot in the vision and vision loss. Early detection is done through analyzing eye fundus image with the help of customized software screen. So it is classified as no DR, mild, moderate, severe, and proliferative. Early detection can reduce the chance of vision loss by 90%. So this is abstract. A diabetic retinopathy is a disease resulting from diabetes complications causing non-reversible damage to retina blood vessels. So DR is a leading cause of blindness if not detected early. DR screening aims at early treatment of the disease by detecting it before the stage progresses. So we are using this uh, convolutional neural networks with the parameter training for DR classification. So uh, in our exist system, as existing system, uh, uh, we need to put a drops, uh, we will uh, drops, we will put in your eye to dilate your pupil this allows ophthalmologists to look through a special lens to see what inside of your eye. So doctor may also do some optical coherence tomography to look closely into the retina. A machine scans the retina and provides detailed image of its thickness. This helps the doctor find and measure swelling of your macula. So this is a diagnostic process of existing system. So it may take three to five days process. We, uh, we need to take appointment, eye scanning, evaluation, and we need to follow up some appointment and we need to take review. So the, the, it will take three to five days process. So it, uh, it contains disadvantages like uh, less prediction, late detection may cause permanent blindness, time period of diagnosis process is more. So we, we use a proposed system here uh, the proposed system classified DRMX into five stages. There is no DR, mild, moderate, severe, and proliferative. These are a uh, severity within uh, diabetic retinopathy. Uh, the system uses a deep learning based on uh, I uh, based on model convolutional neural network, which uses a whole image as input to the CNN model to classify it in, into one of the DR stages. So this is a diagnostic process of proposed system. We need to take an appointment. We need to evaluate our eye, and we can use this classification using CNN, and we can pursue pursue treatment. So this will take a maximum one day process. Uh, comparing with the existing system, it will take one day process. So we are here. We have advantages like more prediction, early treatment of disease by detecting it before the stage progress. So the time period of diagnosis process is less here. So this is a, a CNN architecture. In CNN architecture, uh, we are we are giving a fundus data, image data set, which we can uh, which we which will contains a different data set of I fundus image. So here, uh, by uh, by giving this I fundus image, uh, we are performing uh, pre-processing and data augmentation. So pre-processing is nothing but it is a process of transferring, transforming raw data into an understandable format. The quality of data should be checked before the applying to the algorithms. So after pre-processing, we are uh, uh, we are done with uh, data augmentation. Data augmentation is nothing but 
uh, it is a technique of uh, creating a new training data from existing data. So applying these, we are getting a training and testing data. So training and testing is data, is training data and testing data is nothing but uh, training data uh, will be 80% and testing data will be 20%. So here 80% training data will be uh, creative model and testing data will be accuracy of the model. So after this, after this uh, testing and training, we are giving this model to the CNN uh, class, DR classification. So in CNN model, we are having three layers. One is convolutional layer, one is maximum pooling layer, one is fully connected layer. So in this process, we are giving these input uh, as a, as with some dimensions. So in, in convolutional layer, it consists of learnable filters. As we see like this, we are having 42 into 50 dimension. So uh, these uh, here in convolutional layer, we are using dot product is completely between uh, input and con uh, convolutional filter to produce two dimensional maps. So after you after this, we are using ReLU function, which is a rectifying a linear activation function. So ReLU function that will output the input directly. It is a if it is positive, otherwise it will output the zero. So after performing ReLU and uh, conventional layer, we are moving to maximum pooling. So in this maximum pooling, uh, pooling is responsible for dimensionality reduction. So if we have a seven into seven uh, dimensionality, we will get a reduct, uh, reduction into three into three dimension. So after this, we are going finally to uh, fully connected layer. Fully connected layer is responsible for, uh, it consists of weights and uh, fully connected layer are those layers where all the inputs from one layer are connected to every activation unit of, every activation unit of next layer. So we will get a final output as a normal class or a DR class. Normal class is nothing but we are not, we are not having any diabetic retinopathy. So DR class in, is uh, output that we are having some severity. So I'm Lalit, you, my friend Lalit is going to explain models. Lalit, you yeah, ask. You are in mute, Lalit. Okay. One needs to know what is a module in a software project. A module in a software project is a part of a program that contains one or more routines. So this project contains four routines. Those are namely as uploading fundus data set, loading the GAN model, load the diabetic retinopathy prediction model, generating the GAM in H and predicting the severity. So the first phase that is uploading the fundus data set. Uploading the fundus data set module is used to upload the data set which contains fundus images of five categories. Loading the GAN model. What is a GAN model? GAN model can be defined as a generative adversarial network model or in short known as GAN or an approach to generative methods using deep learning methods such as convolutional neural networks. GANs are a clever way of training a generative model by framing the problem as supervised learning. So we need to load the GAN model and is used to generate some synthesis images. Here, it will use generative and discriminative model to predict which is real and which is fake. So coming to the third module, that is loading the diabetic retinopathy prediction model. Loading the diabetic retinopathy prediction model is used to generate and load prediction model to predict the severity in GAN images. We got a message to see as black console to view the model submit. CNN creates multi layers and each layer has different image shape features. And the final module is generating the GAN image and predicting the severity. Generating GAN image and predicting severity module is to generate some images and predict severity of those images. Here, GAN generates some images, but it's difficulty to display all the images. So it displays 10 random images from all the GAN images. CNN predicted severity from images generated by GAN model. From all the images it displays, only 10 images. And we can see moderate class prediction also. 
so coming to the algorithm it is explained by another teammate mahinder mahinder unmute yourself come on mahinder go ahead i am uh, here i am going to explain about algorithm in algorithm convolutional neural network a convolutional neural network is a deep learning algorithm which can take an input image assign importance learn label weight and biases to various accepts object in the image and be able to differentiate one from another there are three types of neural sub layers the first one is convolutional layer second one is sai yeah continue mind the continue vision conclusion this paper presents four different cnn based architectures from dr classification so as to reduce the clinicians burden of manual retinopathy screening the train model provides instant diagnosis of the disease diseased or non diseased fundus using single image for eye in the further part of this search the cnn new network will be the train to diagnosis between the mild moderate and severe cases of dr moreover the experimentation will be done on larger data set from more suitable feature learning from fundus images thus this work reveals that cnn can be trained to identify dr features for better classification of abnormalities thank you thank you thank you very much